Welcome to Fart Virtual Lab. In today's video, we'll dive into the essential tips for optimizing the RNA extraction process from tissues and biopsies. Extracting high-quality RNA is crucial for a variety of biological experiments like RNA sequencing, that you must have RNA integrity number above 7. So having a high integrity number, in addition to a good optical density and reasonable ratios, is crucial to perform such experiments. Before we jump into the lab work, let's talk about the critical step of tissue collection and preservation. Tissue collection is paramount and your samples must be in small sizes, typically around 3 to 4 millimeters. To preserve your samples, it's advisable to place them in RNA later solution and refrigerate them overnight. This allows the RNA later to penetrate the tissue, protecting the RNA from degradation. The amount of RNA later you'll need depends on the size of your tissue samples. As a general guideline, you should use a volume of RNA later that is 10 times greater than the volume of your tissue. For short-term storage, keep your samples in RNA later at minus 20 degrees Celsius, and for long-term storage, go as low as minus 80 degrees Celsius. Biopsies, which are often quite small, can be snap frozen and stored at minus 80, or submerged in RNA later, following the same process. With our tissue samples properly collected and preserved, Let's move on to preparing the workstation. First things first, let's ensure your workstation is in top-notch shape for RNA extraction. To do so, wipe down your workstation and the pipettes with a sequence of cleaning agents. Start with 10% bleach, followed by 70% ethanol, and finish off with RNA zap. Next up, use filter pipette tips. This may seem small, but they play a big role in preventing contamination. Use RNS-free tubes. These special tubes are essential to keep your RNA samples intact. To ensure the integrity of your samples, use autoclave blades and tweezers. But wait, there is one more step. Wipe them down with RNA zap before you start. Don't forget about your petri dishes or any other surface you want to use for cutting the tissues. Wipe them down with 70% ethanol and RNA zap to maintain a clean workspace for your samples. Lastly, grab a bag for dry eyes. This will come in handy during the cutting process. And before we move on, let's activate the UV light for 30 minutes. This will help decontaminate the workspace further. With the workstation prepped, it's time to dive into the tissue cutting and RNA extraction process. There are some tips you should consider during your experiment. Wipe anything you want to use during your experiment under the workstation with RNA zap to keep your workspace RNA free. To create a cold environment that helps to preserve the integrity of RNA while cutting and weighting the tissues, Simply position the dry ice bag on your workstation surface for approximately 5 to 6 minutes. Place your petri dish on the cold surface under the dry ice. This chill environment will make cutting your tissue samples a breath and can prevent RNA degradation. Remember to keep your gloves and work environment RNA free and wipe it with RNA zap whenever you feel you need it. Keep in mind that all of the required solution during the RNA extraction experiment must be RNA free and use mask during your experiment. And there you have it. You've just learned the key steps to optimize RNA extraction from tissues. This is the method I used for one of my projects, which helped me to deal with the low integrity number of my tissues. You can employ various methods to extract RNA, but always be sure to adhere to the mentioned tips. Maintaining a clean workstation, using the right equipment, and following these meticulous steps will significantly improve the quality of your extracted RNA. Hope this could help you with a new research. Thanks for watching and don't hesitate to contact me if you had any questions. Until next time, happy experimenting!